Ten soldiers in Nixon coming were finally on our own. This summer I hear the drumming, four dead in Ohio. Got to get down to it, soldiers are cutting us down. Should have been gone long ago. What if you knew her and found her dead on the ground? How can you run when you know? Got to get down to it, soldiers are cutting us down. Ten soldiers in Nixon coming, we're finally on our own. This summer I hear the drumming, four dead in Ohio. All right, custom creator here. Uh, see our second Canadian reaction today. Uh, up and coming man and an and, and old timer. So I'm um, glad. What is this uh, song about? Uh, OGI. Right. So Neil Young wrote this to protest the Kent State shooting. Kent State was a college. Uh, what happened? This is fairly famous. You guys have probably seen like pictures of it or something. Um, there was a protest by the students that were protesting the expansion of the Vietnam War and soldiers essentially gunned them down. Uh, there was no, they were under no threat, anything like that. They just killed these kids. Yeah. Uh, 28 National Guard soldiers fired 67 rounds over 13 seconds. Four students were killed, nine others were wounded, one of whom was paralyzed. Yeah. Over, uh, to control heroin. <laughs> Overseas. Ah. Uh. But with governments involved. Nobody gives a shit. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony. I we we agree. You're right. We give a shit. So let's get to it. All right. This is not the Crosby, Steals, and Nash version. This is just Neil Young. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. sit there with a guitar and a microphone and 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 do the <laughs> I ain't saying he's doing the work but um when you had Crosby Steels and <laughs> or yeah behind you I mean they um they have a particular way of doing harmonies it's just off the chart one of the best harmony groups ever in my opinion they um if not ever <laughs> Uh, Neil is really aged here, but he is, man, he is putting so much heart and soul into that. Uh, you can feel it. He's almost crying like when he's singing. 
There is just something about these. The only word I can use is like the old guard. Um, I was watching a Bruce Springsteen performance uh, not too long ago, The River, and he had the same quality. Like, first of all, I'm always surprised by how high Neil Young's voice is. I don't know what voice I keep expecting, even though I've heard him enough by now. But he comes out with that really high, really like bell clear sound. It's always surprising to me. Um, he's got, again, a nice sort of a warm nasality that lets him cut through. Um, and But just his face, like his entire, every muscle in his face is engaged, not just in creating this sound, but in invested in the emotion of the song. So it, it's impossible to not be affected by that. And, and he was just laughing. But yeah, before. The ground. Yeah. yeah, that is, like you said, really powerful. And I think something like this, people can talk AI and what all they want. But this kind of performance, just a, a dude and his guitar, that's never going to go out of style. Because when all the lights go out and all the computers are out and all the AI is you know sleeping or shut down, there's still going to be people that can grab a guitar and sing to you and put you at ease or engage your heart or engage your mind or engage your imagination. And there were certain ones of them that were just great beyond all means, but just freakishly weird in some ways, like Roger Waters, like Neil Young, like David Allen Coe, like just some of these guys were just, uh, uh, Jethro Tull, you know, some of these fellows were just okay. friggin' weird, but in a good way, like... Yes. Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, really. I mean... But that's that's how people's minds get expanded, you know? You, I don't want a world where the artist pool is consist entirely of normal people. That would get pretty boring very quick. So it's up to guys like, like Rod, like uh, Ian Anderson, like Neil Young. He's uh, David Allen Coe. He's well, you can put Maynard in that, and he's weird yeah, to yeah. Too. These crazy um, motherfuckers to sort of you know expand our, uh, our our perceptions of things to show us different ways to look at things. No doubt. All right. I wonder um, does Neil have any kids? Because I wonder if maybe this hits harder now if he's like a father, like the idea of a young people getting gunned down. Like I'm wondering if he sure. has kids. Yeah. Like it's always well, a tragic thing. I, I like, when you're I like a parent, the way... I'm sorry. I think when you're a parent, something like that would hit a lot harder. Yeah. And the way he's using that that hollow part of the the acoustic for bass is just. Yeah. I'll look it up. See if he's got kids. We'll, we'll see right. him. <laughs> What if you knew? 
Yeah, because he, this is, you know, this is 2014. Um, so did he have kids? So he's got three kids. Uh, one, he does have a daughter. And he has a kid with uh, son Zeke has cerebral palsy. So he, he said having mm -hmm. a special needs uh, child definitely sort of made him much more attentive to matters of the family. Yeah, no doubt. Props to Neil Young. No doubt. Yeah, he's he's a certified legend. He's I, I like the idea that he's carved out almost like careers and his acoustic stuff, his work with Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and then sort of his noisier work with uh, Crazy Horse, which is more electric and sort of rocking. Yeah, yeah keep I think he's in the free world. It's a great song. Yeah, he's a masterful acoustic guitarist, though. Like that's oh, this man. to me seems like Neil Young at his in his natural habitat, just sitting down with that acoustic guitar and that harmonica, singing his songs, telling his stories. Yeah, that's how he done the set with um, Old Man and um, um, uh, Modern Heart of Gold. <laughs>
deceptively pretty, but there's so much pain in it. Yeah. Um, and he was 68 when he did so did that performance. When did the shooting happen? What year? Yeah, the Kent State shooting happened in uh, 1970. So, and this is at a school campus, right? Yes. So all the hell that Marilyn Manson caught and everybody for or the the satanic panic all this that rock and roll music was making kids you know shoot schools up the American government's who done the first big school shooting huh that's hadn't thought of that but yeah 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 there you go so Don't blame Marilyn Manson for it. <laughs> I, just I think it's ironic. I think actually Neil still performs every now and then. It's, I like the idea that he's still able to put the song out there. So if, if one person in the audience that might be new or something can you know look up what a song like this is about instead of be reminded. You know, the old saying is those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. So songs like this are just you know that's one more thing to help us remember where we came from and some crazy stuff that's happened and some stuff we should maybe take a look at and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, that's what I, I call it. Like I see it, I don't give a damn if it's at home or across the seas or, or where. I mean, and Neil Young didn't either. I mean, he would, he, every song he made had meaning. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, his, his Heart, his goal was in the right place with Southern Man, too. He just uh, became, you know, to where he didn't like that song anymore. But, yeah, man, that's, uh, that's that was deep. So, um, much uh, rest in peace to, to the kids that lost their life that day. Uh, there should be a Canadian playlist coming up here soon. And um, we got plenty of other playlists as well. There are ways to support the channel. We, um... Uh, channel memberships for cheap Patreon. So, yeah. Mm. Full exclusive content there, behind the scenes stuff, the stuff us, with us goofing around. In addition, some of the reactions that we can't get through uh, copyright or that get blocked. Boom. End of a Patreon or member. So, yeah. Much love, everybody. Yeah, thank you all so much. Tell your kids. No doubt. Pay attention to politics if you can get involved in them. Don't just vote all the way down one side or other. Oh, yeah, yeah. No shirts and skins politics. Keep Pay attention to the issues. Try not to get distracted by the politics. Who gives a damn which direction it points? Yeah. <laughs> Never understood that. What's up? Mental health is real. No doubt.